All right, what you're looking at here is just a simple two transistor A stable multi vibrator. Consists of two transistors, two capacitors, and two charge resistors, and of course, two LEDs and their associated dropping resistors. This is operated at 5 volts in this example. Um, the rate at which the LED blinks is dependent on the value of the charge resistors and the values of the two capacitors. So essentially you have two, four, six, eight components to make a simple LED flasher. Let's take a quick look at the schematic. Here's the schematic to the flasher you saw in the video. Here are my two caps. These are my 10K charge resistors. I have a blue LED and dropping resistor, a red LED with its dropping resistor, and two NPN transistors. The NPN transistors are not critical. You can use pretty much any one you want. I used a couple of TIP41s that I happen to have. When first powered up, one or the other transistor will cut on and the other will be off. This is due to slight differences in the transistors, the caps, and the charging resistors. If one transistor is on, the other is always off. And it's the charge and discharge of these two capacitors connected to the collectors of the opposite transistor that will create a back and forth on off type of oscillation. This is an oscillator. It's known as an A-stable multivibrator. And the frequency of the output, the frequency of the output, and you have two of them actually, is determined by the RC values. There's a formula on the web page on how that works. If, for instance, I wanted to change these two resistors to 100K, the values as you have now calculate to out to about 3.3 Hertz. Um, if I was to increase these to 100K, I would increase the flash the rate between flashes to what maybe 30 seconds it's going to be pretty high so you can really slow it down by changing your charge resistors or capacitor values you can also use different value capacitors say this one is 22 microfarads and this one's a hundred leaving these two resistors the same one LED will be on longer than the other. If there's a really great difference, one flashes off real quick and the other one uh, stays on most of the time, blinks and never really seems to go. You can see it blink, but it never goes completely dark because it's switched back on so fast. And so the calculations and stuff are on the web page. This is a nice beginner's circuit for a little transistor project again easy to build and hope you enjoy it anyway visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com